Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, I'm John, this is many a true nerd, and welcome back to Skyrim. My last time we arrived in Riften and we had a good look around, a good explore. We tried to help some people out, we didn't really succeed. We tried to help out Mjol the Lioness, and the sword she claimed existed just didn't exist. And we tried to basically figure out what was going on in this house, and all we did was murder its occupants, and then murder a bunch of beggars in the sewers. So, uh, I'm not really having a good effect on this town so far I feel but hopefully hopefully today we can do a little bit better let's start off today by heading down to the lower bits of the town and seeing what I can do here because yeah there's a bunch of little uh, little houses close by to the water which I'm guessing is not kind of generally deemed a good thing in this game so let's see what we can do here that we're welcome to do Marie's Aravel's house spot on I trust you're not planning any trouble what can I do for you, friend? I am planning no trouble whatsoever. So you just, ooh, you just live in one, one room here, do you? Oh, that's a little bit, you need that's to leave. a little bit not great. Well, I guess it's kind of divided into two, but yeah, it's not great. Right, what's your deal? Anything you need me to do? Need something. How do you keep this food so fresh? <laughs> just, just give me a quest, you know, just ask me for money. I'll hand it over. I picked up a trick from a butcher in Elenir, a small town over the border in Hammerfell. He showed me a way to grind up ice wraith teeth and use it as a preservative. Keeps everything cold and fresh, but only for a limited time. I'm always looking to replenish my supply, so if you ever come across five of them, I'd be more than happy to take them off your hands. Ooh, I might just actually have that many on me, who knows? Thanks, I was actually worried I'd run out. No, as it turns out, I've only got one on me. Never mind. If I happen to ever, like, come across a bunch of them and have five, I will bring them to her. And then one other house is locked up. That's down into the Ratchway. So, actually, that's it for the lower levels, I believe. I think I've explored everything else. Wait, hang on. There was a... There was a door all the way around this side I hadn't gone into yet, if I recall correctly. There was... Yeah, I saw this last time. Yeah, Beggar's Row. Right, well... Okay, guys... Like, weapons down. All right, last time I ran some beggars, it didn't end well for them. I didn't mean to. They started it. But let's just be friends, please. And actually, there's a distinct lack of uh, beggars in Beggar's Row. And also a distinct lack of a row. It's more of just kind of like a little little mesh of, like, little just alcoves and whatever. There's barely anything here. And that's, that's just the way back out again. Yeah, when you say Beggar's Row, it is just... Uh, just a few sleeping bags and bedrolls on the ground, but maybe they're out for the day begging, I suppose. Right, nothing in here. Right, in which case, weapons away, back up into polite society. And let's start off with this big old pub here, because that's normally a good place to pick up quests and whatever. People of Riften, heed my words. Looking for work? I need someone to deliver a message to Sibby Blackbriar. This is one of the signs. The signs that Lady Mara is displeased with your constant inebriation. Put down your flagons filled with your vile liquids and embrace the teachings of the Handmaiden of Kine. No, no, Maramo. We talked about this. Talon? Kirava, certainly we can come to some sort of an understanding. These people must be made aware of the chaos they've sown. Enough, Maramo. We've all heard of the dragons and their return. There's no need to use them as an excuse to harass our customers. Very well, Talon. I'll remove myself from this den of iniquity. We're not kicking you out. Just keep the sermons at the temple and let us all sin in peace. Right. Maramel, as it turns out, bit of a killjoy. Hello there, though. Brilliant. Brilliant? Oh, possibly the little light I've just cast recently. Uh, so yeah, tell me what's going on with the whole Mara thing. Mara's domain encompasses the emotions we strive the most to embrace. Love, compassion, and understanding. It's difficult to appreciate her gifts in these dark times. But you should consider her light a beacon in the storm. Alright, but any chance you accept some charity, because I'll gladly hand over a gold piece in return for plus ten or whatever speech. Of course. I'd be more than happy to add a donation to our charity box. Right now, the best you could provide is coin. We need all the help we can get. All right, fair enough. Yep, five gold for gift of charity, gladly. Thank you. I can promise you that this will be put to good use. Lovely. So, five gold removed and hopefully gift of charity added. No, doesn't say if I have. Well, that's a rip-off. I can give one gold piece to the girl in white and get gift of charity. But if I give five gold to this guy, apparently no gift of charity at all. Blimey. Dear, oh dear, rip off this organised religion business. Right, now I want to know more about the Temple of Mara. Wonderful. Where to begin? Mara is the goddess of love, 
The temple spreads her gifts by tending to the sick, the poor, and the lost. We also perform wedding ceremonies for all the loving couples in Skyrim. And I could have a wedding at the temple. I could. I've, I can't deny Mara, my love. I've got my eye on someone, but he'd never go for me. Alright, what else have we got going on in here? Because I think as I was coming in, you were yelling something about a message that needed well, delivering. Looking for work? My lady. I need someone okay, to deliver a message to Sibby Blackbriar. Was she at the Blackbriar Meadery? Because if so, I've just murdered her. Ah, well. I recently approached Sibby Blackbriar about buying Frost, one of the finest breeding horses in Skyrim. He agreed to sell. I paid Sibby half the cost of Frost up front, but before he could deliver, Maven had him locked up. Sibby believes this exempts him from our deal. It does not. I want you to talk to Sibby for me. Then I want you to bring me Frost and the lineage papers that prove the horse's worth. Okay, fine. This sounds interesting enough. Ah, you're a smart woman. That's exactly what I wanted to hear. Head to the Riften Jail and talk to Sibby. Get him to tell you where Frost and his lineage papers are and bring them to me outside Riften. You'll be well paid for your time. Okay, can I just say I really like the title Promises to Keep when he's been locked away in the key. That's, that's good. I like that. That's a damn good pun. And why exactly is Sibby in jail? No idea. But whatever he did, it must have angered Maven. No guard would lock up a Blackbriar without the old lady's permission. And I'm guessing there's a reason you just don't go and do this yourself? I'm not exactly comfortable around guards or jails. Definitely not when associates of mine have been locked up. No. I'll meet you outside of town. Alright, fine. I'm happy to go and take care of this for you. This seems like a fun little quest right here. Let's just quickly have a look. See, ah, once again, it's the, uh, yeah, three tiers. Three tiers of room. This is a nice little city. It's pretty, oh, no, no, no. Don't, don't break into stuff, however. Yeah, it seems like a nice, nice little place, to be honest. Little rooms. Lots of books floating around. I've found at least one actual skill book so far, which is always welcome. Yeah, nice clean rooms, nice bits and pieces. This is all lovely. And indeed, that priest has been leaving. Mara smiles upon you pamphlets in all of the rooms. <laughs> That's good. I like that. Oh, no, no, it's not. It's a message. Okay, to Talon J, who I believe is one of the Argonians downstairs. Checked with Maramel. I'm certain an arrangement can be made to incorporate the traditional Argonian bonding ceremonies should the need arise. It will be our pleasure to receive you at the temple and to have Maramel perform a marriage ceremony between yourself and and Kirava, we'd request the appropriate tithe be made as we previously discussed. Whatever you decide, we wish you both the best of luck and hope to see you here soon. Dinya Baloo. Fine, presumably one of the other priests. Got it. I guess you can have that. Wait. What? There's... I didn't mean to... St Sorry! Who even saw me take that? Sorry! My mistake. Right, now what have the Argonians got to say down here? Because now we know you want to get married to... Is it you? Yeah. Do you two both want to get married? That's pretty cool. Is there something I can do for you? Yeah, how did you and uh, Kirava meet? I met her when I wandered into Riften a few years ago. Been smitten with her ever since. In fact, I'm thinking of asking her to marry me. In Blackmarsh, tradition dictates we present a potential mate a unique wedding ring to represent our future bond. I already have the gold band, but all I need are three flawless amethysts to complete the setting. Oh, I am carrying like flipping 73 of those. Help your bloody self. I... I... I don't know what to say. Such kindness is unheard of in these times. Here, I want you to accept this as payment for your sacrifice. And I, well, we both thank you. Oh, and I've got myself a resist fire potion. That's so bloody useless. Right. And he's got some unusual unique stuff on him. A cliff racer. Restores 25 points of stamina. Also 25 points of stamina. Also 25 points of stamina. Except they've got fun cocktail names. <laughs> All right, nice. I like the fact you're running an Argonian cocktail bar here. But honestly, plus 25 stamina doesn't actually feel that great. So, okay, how about you? Do you like me more now I've arranged for your marriage, hopefully? If you've got the coin, you're welcome here. Otherwise, hit the road. Okay, that's not exactly the friendliest way to welcome a new customer, but whatever. Tell me what the word around town is. The city guard has been tearing Riften apart, looking for the source of our skooma problem. I'd hate to be in their shoes if they get discovered. Okay, well, I've had a good look around the rat's way. I haven't found anything yet, but yeah, if I had to guess, probably the Thieves' Guild's responsible. Mule the Lion is used to adventure across Skyrim before she settled down in Riften. 
I hear it all ended when she lost her enchanted blade. Yeah, that's just a story. I went to the exact spot where she said she lost it. Nothing there, so she's just lying about that for some reason. If it's true that the dragons have returned, what will it mean for all of us? Is this how it all ends? Yeah, you're pretty much as good as doomed. Sorry about that. Take this and hold on to it. I'll be back for it later. I'll pay you good. Don't lose it. Wait, what? 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 Whoa, 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 whoa. Also, you've just put me off weight capacity. Um, who exactly? Well, you're marked as a fugitive. This doesn't seem like a good thing at all. Right, okay. Explain yourself, please. No time to talk. Snitch or double cross me and I'll kill you. I mean it. Ben, or did you just hear what he just said? Alright, seriously, just... Okay, where's there a guard? Unless this thing's really damn good. Is this thing really, really damn good? Is it marked as stolen? Glass bow of the blaze. 25 points damage, only 16 damage. It's valuable. I tell you what, let's just flog it. Let's just flog it now rather than doing that. Is it... It's marked as stolen if it's stolen. No, it's not. Because this guy chose to give it to me. <laughs> Alright, fine. Screw him. Let's just go and sell it in the marketplace. Ah, here we go. This is perfect. This looks like the blacksmith and whatever. Let's see who we can sell to around here. Sell that bow straight away. Working. I'm beginning to think. Did you see someone run past just now? Yes, I most certainly flipping did. And actually, you know what? Screw it. I'm guessing this glass bow belongs to you, right? Yes. How did you get this? Uh, uh, never mind. Here. It's not much, but it's something. I'm going to track down that thief. Murder him. Did you just give me one gold piece for it? One? Fine, I should have just sold it faster. Damn it. Alright, fine, whatever. Right, so yeah, we got ourselves the proper little blacksmith here. Which is nice. What are the shops have we got around this side of town? The Pawned Prawn. Excellent. So I'm guessing this is just the general goods store. Lovely. Well, I think we've got a bunch of stuff to sell there. Though actually, let's sell the weapons to the blacksmith first. Because that will be, uh, yeah, then we'll kind of have more money to sell the other stuff. Come to see Balaman perform miracles with steel, eh? Okay, you're speaking about yourself in the third person, which is normally the sign of an idiot, but whatever. Oh, you can train me in smithing if need be. Right, so go on, just tell me what you've got for sale here. Ooh, an ebony sword of devouring. Okay, that's sort of interesting. Damage 50, absorbs 15 points of health. But to be honest, I don't need to absorb health because I'm not generally stuck in sluggy matches. That's Benor's job. I need to maximise damage with, like, flame enchantments, not the um, the vampire ability. But if I was actually going one-on-one -on -one and I was just playing with, like, sword and shield, that'd be really, really damn cool. Right, sort of bit of stuff there, but going into my inventory reminded me I'm carrying a bunch of gold ore, aren't I? Yeah, let's smelt that in some proper gold here because I totally have yep. Gold ingots, lovely. Use that to make myself some very, very lovely, valuable jewellery with all these bloody jewels I'm carrying around all the time. Yep, can make myself one gold diamond ring in me. Oh, can make myself three of those. 900 apiece, yes. Ap-so-flipping-lutely, lovely. And a gold emerald ring too, spot on. Right, cleared him out of money. Let's go over to what I'm assuming is the general goods store. Ooh, Maven Blackbriar, wait. Aren't you important? What in the name of oblivion do you want? Your name carries weight in Riften, apparently. Of course. Nothing gets done without my approval in this city. I have the Jarl's ear and the guards in my pocket. Anyone makes trouble for me and I pay a visit to the Thieves Guild. Make me angry and I contact the Dark Brotherhood. You do well to remember that the next time you make such a stupid observation. Okay, no one mentioned to her the fact that I did just go over to the Black Briar Meadery and murder everyone there. She doesn't seem to know about it yet, so that's good. I believe we're done. Right, let's just leave her alone. She apparently, like, runs this town quietly from the shadows. And the sun's come out and Riften is gorgeous. Just bloody gorgeous. I love how it looks. Right, to the general goods store. Read to be read immediately. That seems like it's important to read. Notice to all employees, it's come to my attention that the last batch of Black Briar Private Reserve was simply our standard Black Briar mead placed in the incorrect bottles. We sold six cases of the Private Reserve recently and all were returned. To make amends, we've replaced the cases with the correct supply at our cost. Due to this blunder, the cost of those cases will be removed from this month's wages. Uh, Indirin. Okay, bit of an incompetent mess there. I thought this was a general store, but it doesn't seem to be. It looks more like a bar. Welcome. Never Allow me to recommend the Black Briar Mead, the purest brew in all of Skyrim. 
Okay, and what makes it so damn special? Lady Maven's been developing this secret recipe for Blackbriar mead over the last several decades. Just tell me about Maven Blackbriar, alright, because she's refusing to talk to me and I suspect she's evil. She's an absolute pleasure to work for. In fact, I almost feel guilty accepting pay from her. Why, just this last week, I was commenting to my fellow meadery workers just how lucky we are to be working for such a charitable family. Right, okay, so her employees are terrified of her. Got it. Any chance you're willing to just tell me the truth with a bit of a persuade? Okay, look, if I'm caught saying anything bad about the meadery or the family, I'm a dead man. I'm the fourth person to work the tasting counter in the last year. The last three are at the bottom of Lake Honrick. Just take my advice and just get out of Riften as soon as you can. Right, she's straight up murdered three employees who just worked at the bar in the last year. That's pretty extreme, right. Now am I allowed to go into the back area by any chance? Is that, is this okay? Can I just explore the back area? Ooh, right, there's loads of stuff back here. This is a massive great building as it turns out. I wasn't expecting this, but all right. Right, let's go find other people, speak to them, hopefully not cause trouble with them. I'm not stealing, I just want to say hello, you seem important. You caught me at a bad time, I've lost someone dear to me. Right, you're the guy I spoke to last time, so you Can work you here, you? got it. And, uh, any chance anyone else is, ooh. Okay, we've got the big tanks where they make the beer then, or the mead or whatever, sure. Now, you my goodness, no, come back, I want to speak to everyone, please. You look like you could use a drink. What do you say to some cheap mead? Oh, you're really selling it when you call it cheap, lovely. And why are you selling cheap mead? No, no, friend. You've got it all wrong. I'm not selling cheap mead. I'm selling good mead for cheap. Black Briar mead. I sell cases of it for half of what the inns and taverns pay through the meadery. All I need is someone to deliver it for me. If anyone saw me leave Riften, they get suspicious. Okay, are we talking about anything interesting here? I need someone to take this small keg of Blackbriar mead to Wilhelm at the Villamer Inn in Augerstead. Drop it off and he'll trade you something for the delivery. Keep it as payment for the legwork. Oh, and if you bump into Indarin from the meadery, keep your mouth shut. He'd write us out in a second. You know what? I'll take that and possibly rat you out immediately, sure. Good. Now get going. There we go, so I could either deliver it to Wilhelm or I can show it to Indorin. Got it. Now, where's this Indorin person? Because I feel like I just want to, well, hmm. You come across as a shady, shady individual, but we do know potentially, hmm. What's the right thing to do? You're Niluva. You're not Indorin. Which one was Indorin again? Was Indurin the person in the really nice jacket I saw a second ago? Yes, Indurin, spot on. I'm quite busy. Need something, or can I get back to work? I'm gonna be honest, Romlin is a bit of a dodgy bloke, and he does seem to be skimming from the meadery, which isn't right, even if the person that runs the meadery is themselves quite evil. Aye, I suspected as much, but I've never been able to catch that little sneak with proof. And he gave me this cake to deliver, here you go. That fetcher. I gave him the same keg just this morning, and told him to store it in the cellars. Oh, he'll rot in prison for this one, I promise you. As soon as Maven finds out, it's all over for him. Here, take this as a bit of a reward for nabbing our little thief. You know, given I'm actually planning to, you know, ooh, diamonds. I was about to say, yeah, uh, I may have gone a bit far, but no, he just gave me a diamond, so that's fine. Good. Diamonds are great. Well, right, so you're not actually a general store at all. I'm just going to get out of your hair, don't worry. Right, so we're still looking for a bloody actual shop I can sell general goods at. So hopefully we'll find one of those. Ooh, this is nice. Ah, oh, open cities. Open cities so we can just run down to the waterfront. That's beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Yeah, I'm guessing these are just the... No, don't fall into the water. These would just be like the dockside warehouses, right? Yeah, Riften Warehouse. Need to key so I can't get in there. This will be the back entrance to the meadery. Yep, unsurprising. And finally, we have got ourselves... What is this? Ooh, the fishery. That's owned by the guy we ran into before, isn't it? Bowley. Sure, let's go visit him. He seemed like a really nice bloke. Well met. I don't think they're hiring anyone at the moment. So if you're looking for work, you're out of luck. Right, well, I happen to know who you are. Rather, I know where your house is. It's down in the under area, but it was locked up, so I did not go inside. I'm feeling much better now, thanks to you. 
Ah, that's the woman who I helped out when I just caught her in the water previously. Fine. So, by any chance, are you willing to tell me where you get the skooma? Because figuring out where that is and cutting off the supply might actually be a little bit on the useful side in terms of a plot later. Look, I don't think I should say. I mean, they could kill me. Okay, how about some money? Oh, you know what? I've got pretty high speech, and I did help you out before. Okay, okay, I'll tell you. I get my skooma from Sarthas Idrin. He has some sort of a setup over the Riften warehouse. You can't get inside, though. They've kept that place locked up tight since the war began. Okay. Any chance you happen to know who has a key? I overheard Boldy say that only the Jarl carries the key to the warehouse. When I meet Sarthas there, he's usually waiting for me outside with his bodyguard. Right, the Jarl himself. Okay, interesting. Or I could report Sarthas to the Jarl directly. Though, uh, no reason to believe the Jarl's not in it. This is a very, very corrupt city. Right, and what are you planning to do now if I'm about to cut off the skooma trade? If it wasn't for skooma, I'd already be on my way out of this horrible city. Alright, I'm doing you a favour, beautiful. So, I think that's everything on the docks. The warehouse we can't get into. The Jarl has the key. I'm guessing pickpocketing the Jarl is a terrible, terrible idea. Though, admittedly, if I were to, you know, become a thief, get good at thieving, might be an option. Well, you know, there's a big market here. One of you's got to be a general bloody trader. Please, at least one of you, surely. At some point. Sure, sure, I'm a dirty beggar. Why would you want to even speak to me? Okay, fine, I feel bad now. I'm going to give you some money in order that I get the gift of charity. To oblivion with all of you. You rich piles of dung walking by us like we're not there. Look, have a gold piece and stop making me feel guilty. There we are, that is. There, now I've got the gift of charity. I feel like the game's kind of very subtly making a little bit of a point there. Yeah, you give five gold to the organised priest of the organised religion temple thing, you get nothing. But if you give one gold piece to the beggar, you get the gift of charity. Because, yeah, okay, fine, I think the game might be trying to say something there. Right, into the proper market we go. What have we got going on over here? Um, Halga, right, I think we've run into you before. Need to find myself a proper... Ooh, you've got yourself a lovely, lovely... Wait, wait, e e Edda? Edda? Oh, you also want some money. All right, fine. You can also have one gold piece. No one cares about us. No one. Look, just ask for the gold piece and you can have it. Are you scared of death? I am. I hear everything just stops forever. Okay, this is why people aren't paying attention to you, because you go on at length about mortality. Need something? I literally want to give you money, but I'm not allowed to, so whatever. Okay, fine. Let's just go shopping instead. Never done an honest day's work in your life for all that coin you carry. Alas. Okay, that's not actually a good way to start the sales pitch, but whatever, Bryn Jolf. I'm saying you've got the coin, but you didn't earn a septum of it honestly. I can tell. Okay, um, Benor, just murder this per- Okay, fine, actually, he's telling the truth. He's right, Benor's done all the work. Oh, he's completely 100% right. Look, how do you know that? It's all about sizing up your mark, lass. The way they walk, what they're wearing. It's a dead giveaway. Okay, what exactly are we talking about here? Look how you sniffed out my little scheme at the North Gate. You knew it was a shakedown and you called him on it. That's what I'm talking about. Ah, okay. I think I've accidentally come across someone who might be able to introduce me to some information about the Thieves' Guild here. I knew there was someone in the market that did that. I think I've accidentally found him. Wealth is my business. Help me out, and I can add to yours. Would you like a taste? I'm literally carrying 35,000 gold around with me. I can't find anything to buy with it. But all right, fine. Let's get even stupidly wealthier. I've got a bit of an errand to perform, but I need an extra pair of hands. And in my line of work, extra hands are well paid. Okay, what do you want me to do then, Brinjolf? Simple. I'm going to cause a distraction. You're going to steal Medesi's silver ring from a strong box under a stand. Once you have it, I want you to place it in Branche's pocket without him noticing. Okay, and why exactly plant the ring? There's someone that wants to see him put out of business permanently. That's all you need to know. Now, you tell me when you're ready, and we'll get started. You know what? I'm up for this. Let's get going here, and... But you wouldn't tell me, actually, before we do, why we're doing this to this guy. 
We've been contracted to make sure Grand Shea remembers not to meddle in affairs that aren't his own. Now, since we're not the Dark Brotherhood, we're not going to kill him. We're just going to make sure he sits in the prisons for a few days. Okay, fine. Let's get this going. This sounds fun. Good. Wait until I start the distraction. Then show me what you're made of. Alright, I've been ready for this actually. I've got something prepared specially. Which I've been carrying around for bloody ages. These are leather braces of major deft hands. So, pickpocket success 25% up. Beautiful. So now I can pickpocket more successfully. It's amazing to show you that demands your attention. Right, he starts the distraction. Let's let everyone come over here. Now, which is the uh, which is the, the right one? Which, which is the store with the strong box? Hang on, need to find the need to find the right strong box. Oh dear. I've no idea what I'm trying to steal. Okay, good. I can set it as a quest so the game can show me. Ah, according to the map, it's actually significantly over there. I was kind of assuming it would be around here, but alright, fine. If you need me to go over over to here, that's fine. Where's the you just why are you distracting people over there if it's over here? What the bloody hell's going on? Yeah, he does appear to be kind of um inside the the thing. Wait, where are you even wanting me to go? Where's the... Wait, what? Must be downstairs in... In this area. Okay, hang on, hang on. Down down we go, down we go, down we go. Romlin, is this the... Where am I going? Riften, steal Medesi's ring. Okay. Which is apparently over... No, it can't be over here. It's got to be more in this direction over... Over on this far side. I've just no... No bloody clue where. Okay, that's a back entrance into the city. That's definitely not it. I can see the thing there. Okay, just keep your eye on that bloody thing. Might tell where I'm going. So I'm going over to... To, to here. To... To this rock. Apparently this is... What the bloody hell is happening? And now I'm... What? What? What's the... What's happening? What's going on here? Okay, now it's spawned over... Okay, this is really weird. Okay, I'm hidden. Let's just crack this open. Okay, still hidden. I mean, this is what I was expecting in the first place. A strong box under one of the stalls. And now, lockpicking's gone up. Need to steal the ring. There we are. Your ring. I'll also just help myself to some gold as well. Sure. Now I need to plant that on someone else and... Literally everyone's gone home for the day. Apparently I took a while doing that. <laughs> right, so that guy's wandered off at this point. Probably he lives inside a rock too. Who bloody knows? Also, Open City seems to have turned itself off because I spoke to that rock. Oh, no, no. Never mind. Now it's... Now it's working and everyone's running around and... Literally everything is confusing. Oh, everything is so confusing right now. I don't know you. You and Riften looking for trouble? No, but trouble seems to be following me around. Really bloody confusing trouble. Who the bloody hell are you? Yeah, well I got news for you. There's nothing to see here. Last thing the Black Briars need is some stranger sticking their nose where it doesn't belong. Okay, who are the Black Briars? Yeah, let's get your take on this because this is interesting. The Black Briars have Riften in their pocket and the Thieves Guild watching their back. So keep your nose out of their business. Me? I'm Maul. I watch the streets for him. If you need dirt on anything, I'm your guy. But it'll cost you. Okay, that might actually be useful in that case. So maybe I can persuade him to share a bit of information for free? Then we're speaking the same language. Good. So what do you want to know? Right, so tell me what the gems were. Thieves Guild, Black Briars, Enemies Above the Dark Brotherhood. Yeah, the unusual gems I've been carrying around. Tell me about them because they're something to do with this city. Do I look like a merchant to you? You're gonna have to take that up with Vex in the Thieves Guild. Get in good with them and you'll find her. Alright, Vex at the Thieves Guild, useful. And yeah, tell me about the Black Briars. Well, you got Maven. She pretty much runs the whole operation. She's got friends in high places, if you know what I mean. She's also got ties to the Dark Brotherhood and the Thieves Guild. So basically, no one can touch her. Just remember, if she tells you to do something, you damn well better do exactly what she says. Alright, that's probably good information right there. Let's leave that be and instead focus on... Oh, you're back! You're back with the distraction! <laughs> the distraction's happening again. This is all very confusing. Right, now, 
and can get back here and deal with him through these boxes. Yes, this is what I was expecting to happen in the first place. It just sort of didn't for some reason, except someone can see me. Who's got eyes on me? Oh, no, they've lost me. No, wait. 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 Wait, who's seeing me? Someone's got eyes on me. It's possibly him. Yeah, I need to get you into a position where no one Don't sees me. Okay, just detected. Hidden. 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 Okay, if I can get up to his head, if I can just get that. There we go. Oh, no, that's stealing a basket. Right, get the, get the basket out of the way. Okay, now maybe if I just get... No, come on. Come on, just a little bit closer. A little bit closer. A little bit closer. Ah, come on. Boo. There we go. Got him. Got him in the right position. Right. Ring. And now the ring, whatever it was. 90% chance to place. Slot it to him. Beautiful. Job done. Well, I see that my time is up. Come back tomorrow if you wish to buy. Right, so the ring has been put onto his person because I'm very good at pickpocketing right now. Thanks to that lovely little gauntlet I'm wearing. And everyone's... Everything went weird there for a second. It went very weird. I needed to go and live in a rock for a second. And then a mod turned off. But now everything seems to be back to normal. Hello, Bryn. Looks like I chose the right person for the job. And here you go. Your payment. Just as I promised. The way things have been going around here. It's a relief that our plan went off without a hitch. Okay, a hundred gold. Not exactly much, but it'll do. Tell me what's been going on then, Bryn. Ugh. My organization's been having a run of bad luck. But I suppose that's just how it goes. But never mind that. You did the job, and you did it well. Best of all, there's more where that came from. If you think you can handle it. I think I can handle it, sure. All right, then. Let's put that to the test. The group I represent has its home in the Ratway beneath Riften, a tavern called the Ragged Flagon. Get there in one piece, and we'll see if you've really got what it takes. I've been there twice and also murdered literally everyone there apart from the guys inside the... Never mind, it's alright. Look, everyone's back at their stalls right now too, so hopefully I can do some buying and selling. Don't play stupid. I said turn out your pockets. Now! I'm telling you, I don't... Gleaming Wait, what's this ring? Over here. This isn't mine. That's right, it isn't yours. You're under arrest, Franchet. This is insane. I didn't Protect steal yourself anything. Right. I never saw Buy this ring before in my wealth. entire life. We can do this one of two ways. You can walk up with me to the keep, or I can drag your lifeless body. Your choice. Nope. Sorry. Uh, nothing. Very well. Okay, so feels like the City Guard and the Jarl and the Thieves Guild are probably all in this together. Feels very much like, yeah, everyone is potentially conspiring oh, against uh, what most people consider true justice. Right, over to the other stalls. Let's see what we've got here. You seem like an armor merchant to me. And I could, oh, I could get trained in light armor. That's not that bad, actually. How much for that? Um, yeah, you know what? I'll take a couple of ranks of light armor. That, uh, you know, I've got loads of money and having a little bit more defense on my armor skill would not be the worst thing in the world. So sure, I will have myself a few levels of that for a bit of money. Generally, like, you know, trainers I don't normally consider worth it. But like, if I'm literally like swimming in money and it's a skill I'm struggling to get up. Sure, why the bloody hell not, eh? So I've spent like 2,500 on a few ranks of light armor, but it's probably worth it in the long run. Yeah, what have you got for sale? I mean, it's a good skill, light armor. It is a decent skill. Actually, this is weird. Even though she's clearly like an apparel shop, she's actually willing to buy everything. Uh, which most shops don't do, but she's willing to just buy pretty much everything full stop. Although she's also willing to buy the bust of the Grey Fox for nothing. So I probably shouldn't give her that because probably that's related to a quest of some description. But yeah, she's actually willing to buy everything, which is kind of unusual, but you know what? That's fine. Actually, she's carrying a load of gold. Ah, gold I just gave to her through the training. So I may as well bloody just sell her some useless bloody garnets and whatever. I'm never going to use any of this stuff. In fact, a particular note, I can clear out some bloody potions with her because yeah, conjuration spells lasting longer. I'm never going to need that. So I may as well just sell her the stuff just to get my flipping speech up. Right, pretty much got all my money back from her. Lovely. What else have we got for you? Are you a uh, display case? Ah, okay. You're the jewelry salesman. That's fine. Don't want to sell stuff to you just yet because before I do that, I want to actually do some enchanting. So I've got a bunch of unenchanted jewelry on me. So I need to do a bunch of enchanting 
before we do anything more with that. Now, last few buildings in the town. The... Ooh. Okay. An honor hall orphanage. Right, there's the way out of town. The orphanage is... Right, that's something to do with... That's something to do with the Dark Brotherhood or something. Hang on, I need to figure out what's going on here. I can't remember. Those who shirk their duties will get an extra beating. Do I make myself clear? Yes, yes, Grelly. Yes, Grelly. And one more thing. I will hear no more talk of adoptions. None of you riffraff is getting adopted, ever. Nobody needs you. Nobody wants you. That, my darlings, is why you're here. Why you will always be here. Until the day you come of age and get thrown into that wide, horrible world. Now, what do you all say? We, we love, love you, Grelly. Grelly. Thank you for your kindness. Thank you for your kindness. Yes, there's something about it's murdering great. her, and I don't Spray feel that bad about it either. Are you okay with this, by the way? I'm sorry, but the children aren't up for adoption right now. Yeah, tell me about Grella. What's going on here? Sadly, yes. Even the town's fault of taking to calling her Grella of the kind. Her very existence has become something of a running joke. Grelod runs this orphanage because she's old, and set in her ways and doesn't know any other life. These children need love and comfort. I try. I'm gonna be honest, I think they need a doctor more than anything. You should go. The children aren't up for adoption, and it's cruel to get their hopes up. Besides, Grelod hates visitors. I'm just going to move the camera over here. There we go. Okay, we can still see the child glitching out from the shadow, but it's fine. I'm guessing I can't just adopt the children. I don't really want to, but, like, because I've got the Build Your Own House DLC set up, would I be allowed to if I wanted to? I'm sorry, no. Grelid is the headmistress here, and she's decided not to allow any adoptions right now. Right, let's go deal with Grelid in that case. Though I feel like if we speak to the children, they might be able to help. Okay. Benor, I think you're kind of causing pathing problems. There you go, Benor, it was you that was causing the problem. It's all your bloody fault, Benor, it's always your bloody fault. Right, now, what have we got here? This would be Grelod's room. Let's just quickly check if we've got anything of... Just a knife sitting on top of a book. Right, that's a bit on the concerning side. Yeah, let's speak to the children first up. Grelod ain't gonna like some stranger just hanging around. Not that I care. Apparently one of them mentioned Aventus out loud. I don't know, but I'm guessing that's the same Aventus that's been mentioned to be related to the uh, Dark Brotherhood as early as Riverwood. Aventus Aretino. He was sent to live here after his mother died. He escaped, and... Before he left, he said he was going to do the Black Sacrament. You know, to call the Dark Brotherhood, so they'd come and kill old Gorilla. Word out on the street is that he went home to Windhelm, and people have heard strange chanting coming from his house. He's really doing it. Okay, so I'm not sure if I'm allowed to, like, kill Grelod now. I think I might need to speak to him first. Then I can actually come and deal with Grelod and that uh, kicks off the Dark Brotherhood by kind of annoying them a little bit. And all of them are just basic. I can just ask them about Aventus. So they're just telling me the same things over and over. Fine. Can I say anything to Grelod? What do you want? You have no business being in here. This is an orphanage, not an inn. Be gone from here. Okay, can't do anything with these guys just yet. But yeah, uh, next time I'm passing through Winter, I'll remember to speak to Aventus. Come back here, deal with her, because she's horrible and I don't like her. Still, onwards for the time being. And it would appear the day has come to a close, pretty much. So let's wait till morning to continue our exploration. There we are, new day. Still a bit misty, but basically alright. Now this house I haven't been to. Uh, Blackbriar Manor. Now that does sound rather fancy. I'm going to guess that this is where Maven lives, in which case I'm almost kind of surprised it's not locked up. Yes, indeed. Big old fancy house fancy here, and we have got ourselves, yep, the whole Black Briar. Well. This is yeah. not a good idea. None of this is a good idea. My mind is on my experiments today. What did you need? Okay, so you're an alchemist. Any chance I can help you out with something? It's exhilarating to observe the effects of my potions on the body. Watching the heart stop, the eyes go blind. We're made up of thousands of parts with thousands of different functions all working in tandem to keep us alive. Yet if only a single part of our imperfect machine fails, life fails. It makes one realize how fragile, how flawed we are. You ask why I'm so fascinated? The irony, the irony that the same world that gave us life provides us the means to die. I'm not convinced that's ironic, and also I'm just going to go and stand over here now. Okay? Lovely. Right, so that's one incredibly creepy person, but any chance are you incredibly creepy as well? 
My mother spares no expense where I'm concerned. I'm heir to the family I fortune. You're bothering me for a good reason. Okay, so I can't speak to you at all. You just sit around eating pies wearing a fancy hat. Marvellous. Let's have a look around your house. I suspect this is a terrible idea, but... Regarding your loss... Okay, I've made inquiries into the loss of your mead shipments to Cyrodiil. I've come to the conclusion they were waylaid by a group of mercenaries under the employ of the Empire. According to my sources, these mercenaries were not acting under orders, simply attacked the caravan for supplies. I forward a request for compensation on your behalf to the Imperial Council, and the mercenaries in question have already been dealt with accordingly. Again, I wish to extend my deepest apologies for this unfortunate mishap. I assure you that any future shipments into our nation will be met at the border by an Imperial patrol and personally escorted to their final destination. That's from Regin Limulus, the Grand Steward Imperial City Trade Relations. Right. This woman is important enough that, yeah, really high-ranking officials in the Empire will write to apologise to her personally if anything goes wrong. But we know this woman is dodgy and evil. Let's just nip up, have a little explore of her house and bedroom and whatever. See if we can find anything good hidden away. Oh, this is a really nice house, by the way. Right, that's outside to the balcony. Fine, so this house does have a nice balcony. Let's just see what we can find. I'm just going to search everything quickly. Just any off chance there's like some important notes or something. Ah, oh, we've got more notes already. Okay, admittedly, opening these is a bad idea, but... Have a little looksy here. Dearest Maven, after our disagreement a fortnight ago, I feared that business had finally gotten the best of our friendship. Since I still have yet to receive a reply to my last letter, it seems my suspicions are correct. I realise my mistake has cost you a lot. All I hope to do is make amends. I'll be staying at the Bannered Mare in Whiterun, should you wish to speak with me. Regards, Christoph. Okay. Leave that, and another letter as well. Maven, this is the final letter I'll be sending to you. I'm sick to death of your underhanded methods. A little competition never hurt anyone, and Honningbrew has barely scratched the surface of your business. I've lost two more shipments this month to these so-called bandits. If I found out you're involved, I'm taking it to the Jarl Sabjorn. Okay. So, basically, she's got a lot of enemies and not many friends. Gotcha. Right, let's keep having a loopsy round here. What else have we got that we can learn about this woman? Potentially, yeah, I feel like... I've no idea how this goes. I don't know how any of the Rift and Quest goes. And after that first bit I've already seen, I don't know how the Thieves' Guild goes either. So I'm kind of hoping by the end of this, I can basically kind of, you know, make sure Maven gets her just desserts. But I've no idea if that's actually going to be a thing or not. Now, nothing else in any of the other bedrooms as far as I can tell. So if this is anything like the other houses around here... That'll probably be a... Yep, that's a basement. That is down to a basement indeed. Probably just food storage. But worth having a check around. Master lock's door. Okay. Life is suddenly interesting. What does the terrifying maven who seems to control this entire bloody city keep in her basement behind a master locked... Ben, or are we going to have to... That's right. We're not going to have to do the shouting because you've figured out what to do. We've got another door here that we can just open up. Yes, we've just got storerooms, storerooms. Oh, who lives down here? Okay, there's a bed here. Now, obviously, we've got Maven and her two children upstairs. Maybe a servant or a cook or something lives down here. Interesting, but yeah, let's get hidden. Let's go investigating, Ben, or oh, this is suddenly intriguing. Here we are. I found the right sort of location straight away. Okay, it's a little bit on the right. Fine, this will take me a few picks, but won't be too bad. There we are, third pick. That's bloody lucky. Right. Here we go. What's in? Right. Okay. We've got something interesting here. We've got something very interesting. Black Sacrament. Black Sacrament. She's been performing the Black Sacrament in her own basement. Right. Read to the Brotherhood. Astrid, I thought your people were supposed to be reliable. I performed the Black Sacrament, I've paid the proper penance, and I've waited patiently for results. If you can't handle a simple assassination, I'll find someone who can. I want this contract handled. I want it handled immediately. I'm just going to take that right now, because this is actual proof of crime. Human flesh, human heart, skeleton, nightshade, read a kiss, sweet mother... Of course, this is just what you read, the sacrament for summoning the Dark Brotherhood. No notes marked in the book to say who actually is going to be 
taken care of. This is just saying what the ritual is. But yeah, that's nice. Nice to know she's been arranging assassinations. This is how she summons the the Dark Brotherhood, which in all fairness, you know, understandable, but it's nice. We should probably lock the, yeah, let's, at the bare minimum, let's just, maybe we just close this door. Maybe we just close this door, because a woman who, like, you know, has connections to the Dark Brotherhood and summons them, maybe we don't let her know we've been kind of, you know, doing what we've been doing there. Maybe we just leave, like, about, it's, it's, you have a lovely home. Right, one thing I do want to do, let's nip over here, have a little visit of the Yarl. So we've got, ah, yes, that's the Rift in Jail. That's fine, we know about that, but actually we've got a thing to take care of there, don't we? Promises to keep, that's right, that'll be in here. So down we go, we need to, well, we don't really need to get someone released, we just need to get some information. Hey, you're not supposed to be down here, official business only. Am I allowed to bribe you by any chance? Ooh, blimey, that's quite steep, can I just persuade you? Oh, my mistake then. Sorry, you can go on ahead. Right, as it turns out he's not that clever, beautiful. On we go, let's go find our target. As it turns out, Rifton Jail actually pretty bloody big. Blimey, quite an impressive little jail here. Right, there's my target over there and we've got, yep, multiple tiers of cells and everything. This is all very, very cool indeed. Right, me and you, we need to have a chat. Now before we do that, let's just quickly slap on a... Hang on, I've got myself the right amulet for this sort of thing. There we are, Debella. Make sure we can talk you into this if need be. Well, well, aren't you a sight for sore eyes? I've always got time for lovely ladies. Okay, I'm kind of glad you're in prison, but it's a very nice prison, I'll admit. Why are you in jail, by the way? Look, we all have our flaws. Mine is that women can't get enough of me. So I had this little affair going on while I was betrothed to her beautiful girl named Spiddy. Well, she finds out and she tells her brother Wolfer that her brother attacks me with a knife. I mean, I had to defend myself. Honestly, that's actually kind of reasonable, actually. I'd be kind of on his side. I mean, he's, he's clearly a dick, but I'd still kind of be on his side that that was self-defense and not a proportional response to what he'd done. But okay, fine. I'm guessing that that's the murder you were arrested for, right? Exactly. Now I have to stare at these bars for eight months. Can you believe it? I was about to let that wench marry into the richest family in Rifton, and this is how she repays me. I'd do anything to have that whore's head on a platter. All I need to know is where she is. No, 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 no. That's that's not what we're doing. I'm not helping you murder your ex-fiance, okay? Just good luck finding her, all right? Good luck. So, actually, what's going on is I was sent by this guy about the horse situation. Ah, and let me guess. He wants his horse. Well, that's going to be a bit of a problem. You see, I don't really outright own Frost. I see, so you're just a swindler. Got it. That is correct. You see, Frost belongs to the Blackbriar estate. Technically, everything in the estate is owned by my mother, Maven. My plan was to take the horse from our lodge and deliver it to Latrush at the stables. Obviously, that didn't exactly work out as I'd planned. Still, I don't want to cross Latrush. Tell you what, steal the horse and deliver it, and you can have the second half of the payment. Okay, that's interesting, but yeah, I'd rather not do that because I don't really want to cross Maven. Yeah, with my little amulet of Debella on and my decent speech skill, hopefully I should just be able to persuade you to come round nice and easy. Sure, take advantage of the guy in jail. Okay, fine, I can make the deal sweeter. I obviously don't have anything here, but there's a hidden stash in the lodge. And I did manage to hold on to the key. Take it. Okay, so, steal the lodge stash, speak to him, I need to steal the papers. Oh, blimey, the mist around here today is a bit on the thick side. Right, next up, need to go and find myself, where is this lodge you mentioned? Ah, the Blackbriar Lodge, right, okay, well I've already been in there, that's okay then. And that is where the lineage papers are together with the lodge stash. Well, hopefully that should already be empty because I've already been there recently, spot on. Here we go. Hopefully everyone's still a little bit on the dead side here. Yep, everyone still seems dead. Marvellous. 
Ah, there we are. Master Lock Strong Box. That'll be what I got from the Persuade. Got myself some... Eh, the circuit's worth more than the money, quite frankly. I'll help myself to that. Beautiful. And there's the identity papers. Marvellous. We'll have those, and we'll steal them too. Next up, need to steal Frost himself. That's going to be a bit more tricky to do without anyone noticing, I'm guessing. That's close enough. Uh-oh. 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 Right, so... Why are you already half dead? Oh, wait, that's Frost right there. Well, that's bloody convenient, so that's fine. I'm not reaching for my weapons. I have just got one thing to say to you. Ice form! There we go. Frost resisted ice form. That's somehow appropriate. Right, let's get him out. Done. Boom. Lovely. Right, well, he's taken care of nice and easy then. Beautiful. And we'll get the key and the gold and some... Nope, none of the rest of it's worth actually bloody having. Right, just got to get this horse back up to... Don't try and get away. Don't you try and hide from me. Right, no one's going to see this, right? Yep, no one is going to see this whatsoever. Uh, right, Benor, I'm just going to take this horse back. You just, like, keep up as best you can, all right? And in fact, the guy in question is nowhere near bloody Rifton. He's just way up here, so that's fine. We'll just go around this way and just make our way around to him. Beautiful. How's Benor doing on the keeping up front? Yeah, you can just about keep up. <laughs> I'm very sorry, Benor. I'm sorry you need to run to keep up and I get a horse, but there wasn't actually a second horse. So, you know, I, I genuinely am sorry about this. But, uh, you know, it's it's just how it is. It's just how it is. We'll just, you know, we'll occasionally stop to let him catch up. It's fine. I think this area should be pretty safe, by the way. I cleared out the... Okay, no, there's some bandits over there. Ben, I'll just give him a wide berth. There's no need for us to kill literally every bandit in the world. No, actually, it looks like he's not on the road up there. It looks like he's down in the low ground. So we'll just take a shortcut down here. That's okay. Definitely a few wolves over there. Uh oh, are the wolves attacking him? If the wolves are attacking him, Ben, oh, we need to save this guy because he's actually potentially going to, like, pay us some money and stuff. Ben, oh. Ben, oh, Ben, oh, Ben, oh. Yeah, he's attacking the wolves. Has he got the wolves? Okay, hang on. Hang on, just. Ben, oh, could you. Okay, Ben, oh, that was kind of your job, to be honest. Right, let's just have a chat with him. Can we speak to him from horseback to be super badass and awesome? Yeah? Okay, fine. Let's just go over here. Off we go. Is the horse going to try and flee? No, it's not. And speak to you. Ha! You've done it. Got to admit, I wasn't sure you could pull it off. But you've definitely earned your pay. Alright, uh, and by the way, I'm actually... Wait, why do I want Frost? I don't actually want Frost. Why would I want Frost? It's just, just a horse. There's bloody loads of them. Look, it's fine. Speaking of my pages, give me the money. Yes, yes, here it is. I think I'd best be off now. And the second half of the pay is... Ooh, 1,002. Why would I want the horse instead? That's, like, enough to buy, like, two and a half horses. That's, like, two horses and, like, lasagna for days as well. And off he goes. Marvellous. Right. Well, that's that taken care of. Nice and bloody simple. I think we've made some pretty bloody good progress today. And right, so, ladies and gentlemen, that is enough for now. Next time, we're going to head back to Riften, and we're going to go and have a chat with the Yarl to see if we can start out the skooma trade, because I rather suspect he might be in on it. And once we're done with that, it's time to go and join the Thieves' Guild and do their little quest for them. Well, when I say little quest, I suspect it's quite a big quest. <laughs> Because, yeah, the college quest took quite a long time. And this is another one of the main big guild quest lines. So I suspect it's going to be quite a big bloody deal. But I've got my lovely little pickpocket gauntlets on there. So hopefully we should be in good shape. Yes, indeed, I suspect so. This is lovely. This is a nice place for me and Benno. Me and Benno just hang out. Maybe me and Benno will just have a nice little picnic here. It's a lovely day. No need to rush into adventuring and murder. Me and Benno are just going to have a nice day here. And tomorrow we'll return to Riften and crack on. But in the meantime, I've been John. This has been many a true nerd. And this has been Skyrim. Thank you very much, and goodbye. Okay, guys, I need you out of the way so I can fish. Sorry. I just really, really need to fishing, okay? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Emotions are forbidden, all right? Oh, my goodness, I get to ride a moose. Screw you, you don't get a moose. Oh, I've got an arm. Oh, my goodness, yes. Who's got the giant buzzsaw arm now, you bastard? <laughs>